Good morning, Hong Kong, and welcome back to another episode of Hong Kong Insurance 101. This week, once again, we're going to be looking at cyber insurance. Now, if you've been following the news, then you'll be aware that 2021 has been a bumper year for cybercrime. If you haven't been keeping up to date, then let us refresh you. In early May 2021, Colonial Pipeline, the main oil distribution pipeline for the East Coast of the USA, fell victim to a ransomware attack that impacted millions of Americans. In early June 2021, meatpacking giant JBS also became the victim of a ransomware attack, shutting down nearly one-fifth of the meatpacking plants in the USA and causing the price of meat to spike. These are not isolated incidents. In May 2021 alone, there were almost 116 million data breaches worldwide. And even the experts are not immune from the scourge of cybercrime, as evidenced by the successful ransomware attack on AXA less than a month ago. At CCW Global, we have long championed the protection afforded by cyber insurance as being vital in the modern world, especially as work habits and businesses have adapted and changed in the aftermath of the global COVID-19 pandemic. The uptick in cybercrime is a reaction to the increasingly disconnected nature of our workplaces and our reliance on technology to perform our jobs. And while we can place our faith in our network security and IT infrastructure, the simple truth is that even the best security in the world cannot and will not stop a determined and persistent attacker. Cyber insurance provides coverage for a company which has experienced losses as the result of a cyber attack. And the definition of cyber attack under most cyber insurance policies is extremely broad, accounting for any event which results in the malicious use of your organization's digital systems. Now, whether you have had your website vandalized by a bored teenager or your business is interrupted by a ransomware event, cyber insurance products are designed to assist a company in recovering from the aftermath of an attack by providing vendors, services, and finances to overcome the current crisis. In terms of the top line covers offered by most competitive cyber insurance products, as a business, you can expect to find protection for business interruption expenses due to a breach or threat, data recovery costs due to a breach or threat, costs of privacy lawsuits, costs of regulatory fines, costs of ransom payments, costs of reputational restoration, costs of crisis management, and even dedicated response resources and crisis management teams to be made available to your organization after a cyber event. Even the simplest of cyber events, like website vandalism, requires money and effort to fix. Going beyond this, your due diligence will require that even for the most benign of cyber events, you'll need to investigate exactly what happened, conduct an analysis as to how exposed you are, and begin to fix any damage caused. More complicated events, like a ransomware attack, require even more resources and expertise to handle. While more companies are considering the purchase of cyber insurance and the rates of businesses obtaining these policies is increasing, the reality is that this is proceeding at far too slow a pace and organizations both in Hong Kong and across the rest of the world are highly exposed. With cyber criminals conducting attacks every second and with hundreds of millions of successful attacks occurring each and every day, there is too much risk for a business to ignore the necessity of comprehensive cyber insurance protection. That's us for this week. As ever, we hope you have a happy and healthy weekend. Remember to like and subscribe to stay tuned to all our content as it comes out. And don't forget to ask CCW. We're simplifying your insurance.